Hey guys, it's Jackie. Um, man, it's like what, four or five in the morning? Probably five something. And I just woke up and couldn't go back to sleep. I'm tired, but I guess I got a lot on my mind. Um, isn't it cool to know that when you go to bed at night, you are being watched over? Because God never goes to bed. He's awake. Checking up on all his children. And. Just. Comforting to know that. And that. And that. Like when you go to bed. He's there. When you're asleep. He's there. And when you wake up in the morning. He's there. And. His word says his mercies are new every morning. Guys, no matter what you're going through or how heart heartfelt things might be to you, like if you're having, if you're hurt, if you're um, angry, if you're exhausted, if you're fed up, on life or people always know that if God be for you who can be against you I'm just rambling and saying what comes to my mind um, you know middle of the night it's a real good time for reflection <sighs> Sorry, yawn. But be thankful for every little gift you have. Things that you don't even realize that that are gifts. You know, you might sit and thank God for things, but think about the little things that we are gifted with that we couldn't do without, you know. Like our bed. <laughs> um, I talked to a friend today on YouTube who doesn't even have a bed doesn't have a home he's hungry now I don't know this man very well but oh, sorry but I know he could use our prayers so I'm not mentioning names but pray for our homeless people let's I mean I'm 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 a hypocrite here because I don't sit and pray like I should for people, but like like that I don't know very well. But I'm shouting out a prayer to him now. He's on my mind. You know, we're going to bed in our beds. You know, our house might not be a mansion. Your bed might not be the... Tempurpedic mattress or whatever but be grateful for what we have it might not be pretty it might not be the top of the line but it's what you got and it's a blessing I mean guys most of us have food shelter you know Let's be thankful, you know, and like when I pray and I, you know, I hurry through the worship, I hurry through the um, thank yous for what I have and I, and I notice I'm, please do this, do this, do this, do this. And I think the acronym for prayer is when you pray is first praise praise him you know like thank you Jesus and we worship you you're a great God you're a good father that type of praise and uh, and then R is repent you know God is a forgiving God and when you repent he doesn't remember your sins anymore so stop bringing them up to yourself you repent let it go um, 
if if you have a heartfelt repent, um, God says, I don't remember your sins anymore. So first you praise him, then you repent. You say, I'm sorry. Sorry if I've let you down. I'm sorry for such and such. And then A is you ask. Then you ask. Mm. You you let him know what you want. God likes to give good gifts to his children. You know, he says, you like to get, give good gifts to your children. How much more would I like to give to you? So many gifts that we probably don't get because we don't reach out and grab them. And then the Y stands for yes. Yes. Means yes as God will answer your prayer in the way that it, that he sees best for you. Might not be what you want, but it's what you need. Um, I'm just kind of rambling, but You know, the word says if you seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all the rest of these things will be added to you. Um, in this world with everything we have to distract us, it's so hard to put God on at the forefront we we put him on the back burner much of the time because we know he'll always oh, he'll always be there but when someone wrongs you and you're feeling mad or or sad or especially mad think of what god has accepted from you how he has forgiven and he's god he doesn't have to acknowledge us <laughs> if he didn't want to but he does want to and he loves you with an everlasting love he wants to answer your prayers but he wants to answer them in a way that's good for you your kid might want a car on his 16th birthday and he might want a certain kind of car that you know would be bad for him that you know he wants it but it it's not going to last it has problems with you know issues with this engine or this you know whatever so you get him a car that's really nice it's going to last him forever and uh, he doesn't see it but that's the one for him and I don't know why I thought of that analogy it's kind of lame but it's what came to my mind. Good grief. This is going long. But I just want to encourage you. And if you don't know him. If you don't know God. And please don't don't think. Oh no no no. I've been there. This, this These people did that. And these people were hypocrites. And they did that. But guys there will be hypocrites. In church. Yes there will. Even the enemy doesn't miss a single service. He's always in church. He, he's there. He's there every Sunday. But he's there. His motives are to distract you and keep you away from what God's trying to tell you. So I just want to tell you, um, it's not a religion. It's really not. It's not, oh, I'm a Catholic or I'm a, 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 I don't know, Method. I'm Methodist, I'm Nazarene, Pentecostal. How about I'm a child of God? How about he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. He's not our magic genie. We do have requirements, just like you have requirements for your children. But I could go on forever, but I just wanted to let you know that you've never done anything that God can't forgive. He knows your heart. He knows you better than you know you. He knows every hair on your head. 
he wants the best for you. He loves you. He's not out to get you. Sometimes life gets hard, but sometimes it's a lesson. A lot of people go through really hard things and that makes them strong. Um, but don't ever deny, or I don't want to say deny, don't ever doubt his love and care for you. He, God sent his only son to die on the cross for your sins. If you were the only one, he would have sent Jesus to the cross. Um have a relationship to, to talk to him like I'm talking to you he will listen you have to have faith faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of not of things not seen um, that's faith you don't see it but hang in there I love you guys bye bye